I'm certain you've heard the word deforestation before, right? How about slash and burn? Have you heard it from anywhere? If not, then this is the video for you. This video will be discussing its definition, its purpose, our effect on it, the human's effect on it, and its effect on humans and the planet itself. Great day to those who are watching this video right now. My name is Colleen Ditan, the founder of The Call of Gaia. Our advocacy welcomes you to join our journey to reduce or possibly eradicate slash and burn agriculture. But first, what is slash and burn agriculture? Slash and burn agriculture is a method in farming done by cutting and burning vegetations down to the ground. And its purpose is to clear a land or an acre. Selected areas are usually rainforests, which is why most of the activities are done in the Amazon and the Southeast Asia. 50 acres are destroyed in rainforest every hour. There are three reasons why this method still exists. Number one, it is considered as one of the fastest ways to clear land and save time while you're planting. Number two, ashes do provide fertilization I'm shocked because I didn't know that ashes can provide that. Number three, the area is free from weeds. Of course, when you're burning to the, everything to the ground, nothing will be left except for chemicals and ashes. And also in every action and every method and everything that we do, there's a downside. The downside to this method is that farmers tend to leave destroyed areas destroyed acres and repeat the process all over again to a new area you might be asking why would they do that don't they get enough nutrients well the thing is as time progresses the fertility of the soil will decline and weeds will soon grow again actually most of the plants grown on this cultivated land are food grains cash crops and vegetables and actually most of these products are a product of industrial agriculture. You might be asking, what is industrial agriculture? Industrial agriculture will be featured on episode 2 and it is its topic. On episode 2, we'll be discussing industrial, industrial agriculture. So be sure to click episode 2 after this video. This method was done first by our ancestors. Well, actually it was 12 years ago when they started it. And currently 7% of the world's population is using this method. When ancestors did the slash and burn method, rainforests would usually recover quickly and would possibly be available in the next decade. So it was a process, but now in the 21st century, this method leaves permanent damage. The permanent damage of the slash and burn agriculture leaves a great consequences for us. Both the earth and humans will suffer from it. And here is a list of the effects that is actually happening to us right now and will probably happen to us. Number one, there is a loss of biodiversity. Natural habitats are gone because we took it away from them. We took it away from species, animals, and a lot of endangered animals and extinct animals. And also the plants are gone because of us. Number two, there is an increase in air pollution. Of course, when you're burning crops or anything, in general, it will emit gas and one of the leading gases are CO2 and also known as carbon dioxide. And of course, without trees and plants, carbon dioxide will no longer be processed in to make in to the making of oxygen. Three, this is quite common and all an obvious effect it is deforestation a lot of our 
forest's lands are now bulb. No more lee, no more leaves as trees. And four, disregarded lands. As we've said before, farmers will disregard lands if they're done using it. Five, forests is linked to malaria. Actually, in the forest, there's a lot of virus. And trees and those plants are just protecting us from it. And you might as well have a new variant or probably a new virus in the next 10 years, I guess. Six, erosion and water contamination. Of course, landslide and flooding will leave lead to water contamination and all of this also depends on water and lastly there is an increase of accidental fires according to down to earth organization close to 1.6 billion of this planet and 60 million indigenous and tribal people are depending on forests as livelihood and this is actually quite common sense the population of the earth, which is 7.8 billion currently, will suffer if we don't take action right now. If we don't start making a difference and would just leave it to other people. Did you know that in the US alone, trees remove 17.4 million tons of air pollution in a year? I mean, that is... A large amount of air pollution and that is it for episode one of this series isn't it quite shocking to learn about all the th all those things the effects of slash and burn and how it started and everything and being one of the largest contributors to air pollution and deforestation and to gain more knowledge, you can visit our channel, watch more of our videos, and that would be easy if you subscribe and you like this video, and you have you already gained knowledge about it, about the topics that we discuss on these videos. You can also check our advocacy called The Call of Gaia. The link will be provided in the description box to learn more about our advocacy's goals and plans. Check out episode 2. And in episode 2, we will be discussing about the conservation and how we can help. Bye-bye!